And there is no sign this morning that congressional Republicans are being swayed by First Lady Michelle Obama. The House committee is expected this week to approve a bill weakening her signature initiative. It takes aim at nutritional guidelines for school lunches. Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill, where the food fight continues. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Nora. The First Lady rarely wades into politics, but this is her big issue, and she is pushing back against Republicans who say schools need more time to adjust to these new standards. She argues the rules are already making kids healthier. This is unacceptable. It's unacceptable to me, not just as First Lady, but as a mother. Michelle Obama made the charge at a White House school lunch event one week after a subcommittee in the Republican-led House endorsed changes to a child nutrition law she championed and that the president signed back in 2010. My husband worked very hard to make sure uh, that this bill was a priority in this session, and I am grateful to you. Because I would have been sleeping on the couch. <laughs> The law set new limits for fat, sugar, and calories in school lunches that are being phased in over time. The First Lady argued Tuesday that healthier lunches are leading to higher test scores and better sports performance in some school districts. Now is not the time to roll back everything that we have worked for. But House Republicans say the new standards are proving too expensive and that kids are throwing away more food. They want to issue one-year waivers to schools that have lost money, a move the largest school nutrition organization supports. There's been so much change so fast, and we just like to catch our breath and get these changes done, and some, some districts haven't even gotten that far yet. The USDA has already tweaked some of the rules. Just last week, it gave some schools two extra years to integrate whole grains in response to complaints about the consistency of whole grain pasta. But the White House says Republicans are bending to the same forces in the food industry that pushed for tomato sauce and French fries to qualify as vegetables. Parents have a right to expect that their kids will get decent food in our schools. And we all have a right to expect that our hard-earned taxpayer dollars won't be spent on junk food for our kids. The delays to the school lunch program are likely to pass in the Republican-led House, setting up a negotiation with the Democratically-led Senate that could drag through the summer. Charlie. She more than anybody else is keeping the focus on this very important topic. That's right. I yeah. will never understand the downside to encouraging people to eat healthy. I know. With a it's, third of children obese yes. or near obese, there have to be changes made. And as someone who ate school lunches growing up, boy, I wish there had been healthier options because I ate a lot of enchiladas with meat sauce <laughs> and a tater tot. <laughs> a tater tot. Yeah.